Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you and make each and every one of you an instrument of His glory and precious will. May you be an instrument for the glory of God, for the sanctification of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, live and in color in your life for as long as you are here on earth. May the Lord Jesus be sanctified through you before every person that you know. Pay attention here, as today is the last day of the fast of Daniel, this fast that we made, of course, we are going to have many other fasts, but see what God has prepared for those who truly come to Him, for those who truly prioritize Him in their life, for those who obviously make Him the first, the first, the first. Pay attention. God, through Moses, said to Aaron, who was the high priest of the house of Israel, so God said, like this, by those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy and before all the people I must be glorified. It means when a person receives the baptism in the Holy Spirit, when the person is sealed with the Holy Spirit, when the Lord Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to somebody, the objective, the goal of the descent of the Holy Spirit in a person's life is so that that person can sanctify the name of the Lord Jesus here in this world. I don't know if you understand this word, but this is extremely important and glorious because the Lord said, I must be regarded as holy by those who come near me. In another opportunity, he said, draw near me and I will draw near you. So, only those who are interested in coming near to God, for example, the fast of Daniel is a campaign that is done all over the world, all over the world. What for? In order for people to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, and that all those who receive the Holy Spirit may sanctify the name of the Lord Jesus here on earth, meaning with their character, with their being, their behavior according to the will of God, always desiring to manifest and express, to exude the fragrance of Jesus to others, those who are suffering around the world. By the way, in reality, God, in His glorious manifestation, He says, I must be regarded as holy by those who come near me. And before all the people, I must be glorified. So the Holy Spirit does not come in order for us to worship God. 
We learn to pray. We learn to worship God as He deserves, of course. However, the main purpose of the Holy Spirit, the mission of the Holy Spirit in us, is that our Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, will be sanctified in us here on earth. And then he may be glorified before all the peoples for everyone to know that he alone is Lord. So, my friend, when Jesus said in his prayer, pay attention, in, in his prayer he said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, meaning only God's children, truly those who are children of God, not in theory, not religiously speaking, but those who are children of God can say, My Father, my Father in heaven, hallowed, excuse me, hallowed be your name, which means only the children of God can sanctify, have the privilege of sanctifying God's name here on earth, so that then He, God, can be glorified before all the other nations. So, my friend, this is a secret of faith, of intelligent faith, the faith that is combined with the Word of God. See what Jesus says concerning, concerning the importance, the importance of sanctification. There in Matthew chapter 6 and verse chapter 6 verse 5 actually let's read verse 6 is better chapter 6 verse 6 of Matthew says but you when you pray go into your room and when Pay attention to the detail. You have shut your door, meaning isolating yourself from those who are outside. Pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Such a glorious thing. This is only for those who are children of God. Only for the children of God. So the children have the right to go to their room, close their door, actually anywhere. I actually like praying in the toilet because when we close the door, we are alone there. And nobody will bother us there because we are busy. So when we pray by ourselves, and there is no one hearing us. So we are free, totally free to say what we want to say. And to tear our soul, our hearts, and worship, adore, or ask, Oh my God, have mercy on me, I need this and that. God is watching. My friend, God sees us, you and I, when we pray in secret. He sees us. He sees. He hears your requests. He sees your expression of faith. He hears your prayer. And he says like this, your Father who sees in secret 
and your father who sees in secret, he sees in secret, will reward you openly. In other words, before everybody else, believers or unbelievers, he will reward you. So this is what you and I have to learn to cultivate this daily, every moment, any situation that you are alone, you're by yourself, talk to God, He's seeing you. Not necessarily you have to be in your room, but anywhere, anywhere, any situation that you are alone, Talk to God, either in a low voice or in your thoughts or speaking in an audible manner. Just talk to Him. He who sees in secret, He will reward you openly. In other words, if you do this today, then tomorrow or after tomorrow, or at the end of next week, or in two weeks' time, or in, in a month time, you can be sure of one thing. You are not going to die without seeing the answer, because He promises, He guarantees that your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. For everyone to see that you are of God, you are a daughter, a child of His, you are special to Him, and when this happens, it confirms the word that Moses spoke to Aaron. Moses said this word to Aaron, this glorious word. Just the computer closed here. The word that he says like this. This is what the Lord spoke. By those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy. So when you are alone, you will be, you will sanctify the name of the Lord when you speak to Him, when you glorify Him, when you worship Him. It's a private adoration, a private worship. Nobody sing. No one is watching, but God is there. The Father is watching His Son, His daughter, worshipping without anyone watching, not to show off in public, oh, look how He prays, how she prays, they are so fervorous. No, they are praying in secret, worshipping in secret, adoring in secret, and this is the adoration that God appreciates. Because Jesus said the following, And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. He sees in secret your expression of faith, your sincerity, and then He openly reward, honors you. And the word that He says, I will be regarded as holy by those who come near me, and before all the people I must be glorified. In other words, when God rewards you openly, everybody will see it, that you are of God, and that God will be glorified before all people. This is what it means to be sanctified. He is sanctified in our spotless behavior, the honor, the life, the clean life, transparent, in a pure conscience, without any involvement with corruption, lies, deceit without any sort of involvement with the rubbish of this world, but 
in your holiness, your holiness, your purity, you talk to God. Perhaps you are that person who does not demonstrate fervor in your faith when you are in church, but when you do it alone, at home, by yourself, God rewards you. He will reward you openly. Openly. Hallelujah. My friend, last night I had a dream, a glorious dream. This is very rare, but the dream I had was that all the people who received the Holy Spirit, they were in one accord, with one voice, one faith, one spirit, all over the world, everyone united together and saying, Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. And I believe that this dream, because I have many dreams, but this one was not a dream of a good night's sleep. It was a revelation because today we have the understanding of the, the end of the fast of Daniel and that we will start a revival in the universal church all over the world. Assistants, pastors, auxiliary pastors, members, all the people who, who receives the Holy Spirit will be revived so that then our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, may be glorified before every nation because of us. May God bless you all and may this day, this dream be fulfilled in your life from today. Perhaps even now, in this moment as you watch me, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. There where you are, by yourself, you're alone, right? No one is seeing you, only you and God. And your Father, your Father, who sees in secret your worship, your cry out, your groaning, who sees in secret your adoration, who secretly sees the expression of your faith, a pure faith, even though you don't even deserve, you don't deserve, I don't deserve, but still in the purity of our faith, with a clean and transparent conscience, He sees and He will reward you openly. May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, don't forget, from today on, a revival takes place in all the universal churches, sanctifying the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All that moved by His Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Resurrection. God bless you and see you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Thank God.